Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, a talented young chef with a growing notoriety suddenly disappeared from Tokyo a while ago. After pounding the culinary brush, we finally tracked him down deep in the heart of Nara's mountain country, running a very unique Italian restaurant with a clientele so exclusive he would only cook for one party a day. He cultivates and harvests his own farmland, growing his own vegetables to perfect his ideal cuisine. I've had a strong desire to meet this man, to savor his Italian dishes, and after persistent persuasion, finally convinced him to come down from the mountains and grace us with his presence in Tokyo. Today's challenger, a chef who left a successful career in the city behind to pave his own path of cooking in the mountains of Nara, owner of Loazi, Shiichi Nagamatsu. Nagamatsu started out as a chef by gaining intensive training at Al Porto, a top Italian restaurant in downtown Tokyo. At the age of 28, he flew to Italy to further his studies and accumulate further experience. He returned to Tokyo when he was 30, but somehow was dissatisfied with his situation. When I was a chef in Tokyo, we got live crabs flown in from the northern island of Hokkaido, and in March, we could get broad beans grown in the southern island of Okinawa. It was easy to lose the sense of seasons working as a chef there. I saw a limitation in cooking Italian food in Tokyo using the ingredients you can get from Skiji Market. To pursue his convictions, he left for the natural environment of Nara and opened Loazi. Every morning, he turns into a fisherman and comes back to his kitchen to serve as a chef, cooking the catch of the day. He also takes great pride in caring for his home-cultivated vegetables. He prepares and serves Italian food that is one with the land. And what's more, to maintain the natural flavors of his beloved vegetables, he avoids using a knife as much as possible. Nagamatsu has truly created his own frontier and has immersed himself into furthering his dreams and convictions toward Italian food. A purist and a perfectionist. Oh, I've made up my mind that I'll die in this town. I'm a first son. My family's in the south, but I've made up my mind not to return there. I've already told my father this. Armed with dreams and determination as well as skill, a pioneer of piquancy will now step into my kitchen stadium. So now, Nagamatsu, I long for the day to finally enjoy your dishes. Let us see if your convictions serve you well. I've never cared about winning or losing to somebody when I'm cooking. Well, I just want to do what I do every day.
The challenger coming in here is a man of vision with the determination to pursue a more natural style of Italian food. Up in the Royal Box are several Italian cuisine chefs who've all challenged here. They'll be viewing today's proceedings. Our guest is the actress, a natural beauty at that, Mayuko Takata. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to have you here. It's always a pleasure. Uh, Takata-san, today's challenger is a pretty deep guy. Yeah. He sounds like a philosopher with strong beliefs of his own. Mm -hmm. And well, I like natural approaches. You're right. Okay. I'm good. looking forward to this. Okay. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hatori Duck. Always a pleasure. All right. Let's bring on Chairman Kaga. Wangamamana Dorinim. Dorinim ni tote kore hodo no home kotoba wa arimasu. 自分の理想とする料理のみを作り続け時代の流れなのに決して動じないわがままな男が奈良の山奥からやってまいりました。さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。自然とともに生きる男奈良ロジ。all right, a man who's returning to the bright lights of the big city from deep in the mountains of Nara Prefecture and who's gotten back to nature and in touch with the essence of Italian cuisine. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes, because I'm a chef too. Many chefs watch this show. And fortunately, <laughs> the local channel carries this program and uh, I can watch it in the mountains. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Making their ascent into Kitchen Stadium, the nation's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi and Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Even without Iron Chef Japanese Michiba, here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. <laughs> Yes. Sakai-san, if I may. All right, Sakai, it'll be Nagamatsu making it a battle of continental cuisines, taking on Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, one of the first chefs to fuse Japanese techniques with French recipes. His artistic use of color and presentations have earned him the moniker, the Delacroix of French cuisine. Today, he goes against a chef who celebrates nature in every dish. Nara. からの挑戦者にどんなテーマを出そうか私は頭を痛めました奈良といえば鹿ですがあいにく地味への季節ではありませんそこで奈良時代から愛され続けているあの紫色の野菜はどうかそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです All right, a challenger who cherishes what the good earth provides and when it provides a taking on Iron Chef Sakai, he the trendsetter, while challenger Nagamatsu prepares dishes that stand the test of time. We are set. Let's get it on. Bang a gong, we are on. And Nagamatsu, a respectful bow for the veteran Sakai. The Iron Chef, the big star in the city against the humble man hidden away in the mountains of Nara and Dak. Mm -hmm. Three or four varieties of eggplants up there, right? Uh, four, right. Yep. Okay. They're big round ones here you can see front and center. Okay, They're these. the Kamo eggplants. Uh -huh. uh, there's some smaller ones right there we can see. And then if we move up, the ones with the green caps on, they're originally from uh, America. All right. And then, of course, just the average garden variety ones as okay, well. Okay, in the front there. Now, do they taste different? Uh, yes, and they also are used differently as well. Oh, okay. um, ones uh, Some are softer, some are more firm, things like that. So the key here is just going to be how the chef use it. Yeah. Shinshiro 
about to go? Yeah, so far the different kinds of eggplants, Iron Chef Sakai has picked the following. Four oh, Como eggplants, seven regular and eight American. On the other side, the challenger has chosen two American, 12 small and 12 regular. All right, thanks, Ota. And we're told that the challenger grows most varieties of vegetables and, of course, organic all the way, doesn't use any chemicals or pesticides. He's adamant about using all natural ingredients, and I wonder what he thinks about the eggplants we've got for today's battle. Well, the restaurant that he runs is called uh -huh. Loessi, uh -huh. which is an Italian term for oasis, basically. Uh -huh. And it means basically when you're when you're walking through and you come across his place in the middle of nowhere, you're suddenly treated with a, a veritable oasis, great food, and uh -huh. he's growing all these things uh, himself there. He okay. grows a lot of different things. Now Sakai quickly got an American-style eggplant mm -hmm. in there, I believe, cut mm -hmm. up into four long pieces. Yeah, he's frying them now. Without any batter. And I've also uh, said many times, too, that eggplants match perfectly with oil. Right. Yes. Yeah, I asked Iron Chef Sky what he thinks about today's theme, and he said eggplants are in season right now, and these that you've provided today are wonderful. All right, Sakai there, and peeling away, paring, close quarters blade, work pretty nifty. And uh, Sakai, of course, recently appearing in the finale of a drama series, another network, I won't hmm. say the name. <laughs> he had one line, uh, had to say, very good. <laughs> and you were in it, too, Doc. Your your line was wonderful. Yeah, and I butchered that lots of times. <laughs> yes. I also asked Challenger Nagamatsu what he thinks about the eggplants today, and his reply was, they're no good, they're not as fresh as they could be. Well, oh, man mm. knows his vegetables. Hey. <laughs> kind of half expected that. Uh, every day, early a.m., out on the farmland, checking the crops, then it's off to go fishing or hunting for the day's catch. So these eggplants don't quite measure up okay, for this proponent of natural foods. All right, take a look at this. We've got those little mini bombs on the Challenger yeah, side. Yeah, just waiting don't to go make off. a couple cuts in, they're liable to explode. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I remember that from before, and the eggplants blew up, yes. Yeah. Don't want to detonate any today. <laughs> Careful over there. Now, here on the Iron Chef side, whoa, what is, is that, in? Is that wild rice? Nah, it can't be. Kuzan? Yes. Yeah, this is Japanese brown tea. Oh, hoji cha. Okay, it almost mm. does look like wild rice, doesn't it? But you don't use that in French cooking, right? <laughs> no. no. All right, Sakai going off on a tangent with the hoji cha, looking for something different to go against the natural approach of the challenger. Now on his side, and looks like he's got some cheese right there. Yeah, this one's easy. It's gorgonzola. Okay. Mm. And you notice the blue-green veins in there? That's mm -hmm. the mold. Okay, and that one's got a rather strong smell, correct? Well, uh, kind of, but a lot of people actually consider it quite mild. Well, I love spaghetti with gorgonzola sauce. Oh, that's great, isn't mm. it? Now, yeah. rice cooker sauce. here on the Iron Chef side. Yeah, I was watching the tea he was making. The tea went into this. What? Mm. Yeah, I think he's going to cook rice and tea. Did you see any rice go in there? Uh, no, but what else do you expect in a rice cooker, <laughs> hey? <laughs> All right, okay, uh, cha point. meishi, huh? <laughs> tea flavored rice. Uh, could be. With Japanese brown tea. Sounds unique. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, Iron Chef Sakai told us why he was doing that. He says it's to welcome the challenger from Nara, which was once the ancient capital of Japan. Well, a welcome, huh? More like mm. a provocation. <laughs> okay, oh, take a look at this. Okay, Nagamatsu working a can of tomatoes there. <laughs> just wow. what is he doing with that? What's the idea with this one, Doc? Uh, He's just crushing them? Yeah, crushing sauce? them by hand, actually. Okay. Exactly, I've yeah. never seen this before. <laughs> In can, no. I haven't seen that either. Fukuzan? Yes. Getting back to the challenger's complaints about the quality of the eggplants, I asked him if he could improve them through his cooking techniques, and he replied, well, I don't have time to go back to my farm and get some, so we'll just have to see. He's still not happy. Well, going to have to get over it. Sakai mm. saying earlier the eggplants were just fine, and now here, more eggplants being fried by the Iron Chef, doing a couple of deep fry jobs in the early going. Yeah, well, you probably have to expect that, uh, considering the way it matches with oil. Fukuzan! That's okay. what he's got in mind here. Yes. Hearing all the complaining from the challenger, Iron Chef Sakai made the comment, hey, if you can't handle it, you can always grumble all the way back to the hills where nobody can hear you. Whoa, little tongue lashing directed <laughs> at the challenger. I didn't say it that way. Okay, <laughs> setting the record straight now. You know, on its own is the line. It's funny. I'm sure it wasn't meant to be taken right. serious. 15 minutes gone. Challenger side now. Deep fried eggplant coming off. Mm -hmm. But uh, so far, the most intriguing thing underway is the rice on Sakai's side. Mm. Very true. Yes, brown tea leaves added to the rice. It's cooking away over there, and we will definitely want to be keeping on a, a close watch on that one. Brown tea leaves added to the rice cooking away over there. We will definitely want to be keep, keeping a close watch on that one. Now, check out Sakai here. Okay, at the blender. Now, I knew this was coming, but I don't know the plan yet. He's got milk. Milk? <laughs> oh, please, not ice cream. 
Eggplant <laughs> ice cream, maybe hey, on the way. You can make any kind of ice cream you want. As we've seen many times, but uh, <laughs> it, it could taste all right, actually. What's this? Oh, vodka. All right. Vodka. Okay, so that means... Um, uh, dessert? Yeah. Uh, here's the sugar. Okay. Yep, yeah. There dessert. it is. Yeah. Yep. A dessert Definitely. and ice cream. Yeah, uh, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? We'll see. Mm. <laughs> okay, oh, now he's peeling the skin off here. Okay, quick quiz, guys. Uh, do you peel from the cap or do you peel from the bottom? Well, I recently found out that you get better results if you do it from the bottom. Ooh, there you go. And I think that assistant could use to uh, use that tip, yeah. actually. Yeah, from the end is better. <laughs> he is struggling. Uh, it's yeah. better the other way. It comes off more easily. So for the folks at home, start peeling from opposite the cap. Right, exactly. That's, well, that's what I think. Okay. I don't know. Challenger Nagamatsu here. Rapid fire, fine chopping action, and also the blender on their side filled with a green liquid, a vibrant green. Kuzan, yes. The mix in the blender on the Challenger side is a blend of basil, lemon, and granulated sugar. Okay. Oh, okay. Basil. Lemon and sugar, what a mix that is. Yeah, it's quite a quite a bright green, isn't it? Okay, with Nagamatsu being from Nara, I thought uh, that might be green tea in there. And Fukutan? Yes. Yeah, I asked Challenger Nagamatsu how many dishes he has in mind to prepare today, and he said he was working on four. Now, I'm not sure if this is one of the four or if it's the fifth dish, but he's got a load of granulated sugar over here. His assistants are taking bets on whether it'll be a sorbet or not. That's the latest on this. All right, oh, thanks. Okay, a sorbet, that makes yes, sense. Yes, that would be a fourth or fifth dish if he can uh, manage making an eggplant sorbet and how about that? Hmm. Um, <laughs> eggplant versus eggplant ice cream. Well, that's going to be quite the contest here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now Sakai's side hollowed out, perhaps Sorry, be used to serve. I imagine so, okay. yeah. And he'll Fired be using up the lids eggplant as well. Eggplant bowls. Goes a set piece. Yes. I asked Challenger Nagamatsu, who usually cooks by himself up in the mountains, whether working with assistants was messing up his timing or his pace. And he said, nah, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me. All right. And mm. thanks. Look at this. Okay. So a basil sorbet. It looks like basil only, doesn't it? Here on the Challenger side, throwing that down the ice cream yeah, machine. I couldn't really see him adding eggplant to that. No eggplant in there. I imagine what he'll do is use a container made from eggplants or some sort of eggplant served in it. Okay, yeah. a basil sorbet on the way with eggplant somehow. Could be on top of the eggplant, actually. All right, now here on Sakai's side, Iron Chef breaking out the sea urchin row. Yes. Under the sea urchin of this item on Sakai's on side is sautéed Omar lobster and eggplant. Okay, yeah, I thought I saw oh, that. Lobster and eggplant with spoonfuls of sea urchin row melting Sounds on top. To looks Yum. like a done deal right there. Yeah, it looks like it was a lid on top. And how about the rice? Sakai's uh, rice cooked in tea, is that going to have, that's going to have to get some eggplant somehow. Uh, mm. I guess so. Well, he was dicing some eggplants. I, oh, wait, that was okay. the challenge that was doing that. All right, sorry. now, challenger swirling this one around. Looks like it's got some Kusan. eggs in there. Yes. Yeah, this mixture going into the frying pan is eggs, strong flour, and Italian parsley. Back to you. All right. Oh, okay, so I see this is going to be like, um, like a, a crepe, I okay. guess, or at least to start. Okay, and making the skin with that right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe for wrapping something up. I imagine, yes. Mm. Okay, yeah. a wrap or a roll job. Challenger could do that. Now, here's Sakai at it again. <laughs> frying again. <laughs> he hasn't done anything but fry today, has he? <laughs> that's true, that's true. But, you know, frying really is the best way to, to cook eggplants, so it's understandable. Okay. But I know what you're saying. Um, he's trying to condense the flavors here in a short period of time, but to cut us on, you really don't want to wind up with a whole bunch of greasy food, right? So Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay, yeah. now getting back to the challenger, and what might he roll up in the crepe skin that he's got there? Well, he, he could do roll something, or he could actually slice them like noodles and add them to something as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he doesn't seem too worried about the fact that it's not a perfect circle. No, no, okay, that's true. Okay, you know what? I don't think he's satisfied with how that one turned out. I think he's going to have another go at it. Oh, really? Let's see here. Yeah. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, that's right. The challenger is not happy with the egg omelet type item out of the frying pan, and he says he's going to do it again. All right, so some things not going according to plan. Challenger Nagamatsu and breaking into a healthy 30 sweat. Minutes. 30 minutes gone, 30 to go. Second half now of this eggplant battle. A cross-cuisine clash of continental cooking. Oh, no, check out the Iron Chef here. Okay, this is the rice. Yeah, it almost looks like a risotto. Like a rice porridge or something. Yeah. A cha risotto, huh? <laughs> Tea risotto. Well, Maybe. dare say there's no recipe on the books for <laughs> this one. Yes, and that is Hoji Tea Doc. It's a mm -hmm. roast to type, I believe. Right, and I'm not sure how this is all going to come together, though. Okay, now here at the Challenger side and the basil sorbet there looks to be done. They're going to be keeping that one in the freezer and now over to where it's warmer here at the stove. <laughs> Crepe resting there at the cutting board and he's even made another one that he's taken off the stove there, so he'll have two of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that last one just about perfect, the shape of that completely round. 
Right, and he noticed that he's doing this all by himself. Like, the assistants aren't allowed to touch anything on this one. Wants this part done just right, do I it himself. Oh, so, yeah. Mm. Okay. Kutan, yes. the Italian chefs watching from uh, up in the Royal Box are all talking about the challenge's dessert, saying they can't wait to see how that ice cream will be combined and served with the eggplant. All right, <laughs> and uh, that'll actually be a sorbet. And, right, sorbet, sorry. Okay, the guys upstairs, they're interested in that, how it's paired with the theme ingredient. Now, here are the Iron Chef's rice porridge and tea and chilling oh, it down, looks what? like, I think. Check that out. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. This was the eggplant and zucchini he was sautéing. He added right? that in there, and I, now I mixing so. that up. Okay. okay. So, no, wait, we've got a chilled risotto? That's what it's being to look like. Okay, a cold one on the way. Kuzan? Yes. Just to confirm the ingredients that the Iron Chef is uh, stirring together, some sautéed and shredded eggplant has been combined with consomme and salt. Oh, so that was the shredded ones. Okay. Okay, and color-wise, huh. very earthy there, and a taste test by Just the Just great. And how about that? <laughs> well, he, he likes it anyway. Sakai <laughs> pleased by the initial results on his tea-flavored eggplant rice porridge. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, this just in from the challenger's side. I'm told that he's taken the sorbet out of the freezer and now has added chopped eggplant to it. Back to you. All right, well, there's your answer on that one. And okay. now working on the crepes. Now oh. he's uh, slicing them there. Yes, and slicing them into rather thick strips. So it's not actually a crepe per se. It's almost like pasta in a way, isn't it? Mm, yeah, that could be nice. He did add a lot of flour to it. Right, right. Mm, okay, so. so a pasta substitute. And now, ooh, getting hot with Sakai and getting cold at the ice cream machine on the Iron <laughs> Chef side and spinning there. And with vodka in that one, could mm -hmm. get your head spinning, that ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> the eggplant ice cream. Right, and that'll be a first for sure by the Iron Chef, eggplant ice cream going, and now swinging back to the ice cream machine on the Challenger side, mm. the sorbet, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Ota, he mixed something into that. What was that again? Yeah, as far as I know, the chopped eggplant pieces are all he's added so far. Chopped eggplant, oh, yes, okay. okay. And all now right. removing that one. So the eggplant has been added to this one. Right already. in there. And chopped eggplants, but I can't really see it, can you? Well, they are hard to see, <laughs> but uh, he was chopping them very fine. Okay, oh, hang on, yes, you can see them in there. Uh, yeah, real small bits. Yeah, they're very hard to see, but they're definitely in there. Okay. Yeah, so I guess he added those to add some texture, I guess. And Although it's a frozen dish. Sure, yeah. Oh, uh, he's using bread. Okay, the challenger still. Okay, that's in what, olive oil? Uh, no, I think consomme. Okay, the oh, bread okay. soaking it up. Uh, oil? I'm not sure. Sorry, <laughs> I, I really don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, another, <laughs> whoa, sure. oh. flammable action, courtesy of the challenger. Fukuzan, yes. that pot where the bread and eggplant were added does contain consomme, yes. Okay, consomme. All right, so no fry job, that one. Good call, takata son. you called it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's almost like home cooking, okay, isn't it, really? Okay, home-style dish. Italian chefs tend to go for a lot of that. And now, 15 minutes left. Sakai hunkered down and... Oh, the sauce, laying it on. Kuzan, yes. This sauce the Iron Chef is spooning onto this is made from soy sauce, tomato ketchup, sesame seed paste, sesame seed oil, and sugar. Wow. Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, I thought that had to be sesame seeds. All yeah. right. That would be a good match, wouldn't it? A confluence of flavors and more on the Japanese side they are. Very true. Or Dengaku style sauce. Mm, mm -hmm. Right, yes. but a very luxurious one. Another only in kitchen stadium. <laughs> <here. laughs> so now true. So water's true. just looking at that now back with Nagamatsu. Okay, now what's the, the white coating on there? Right there on the eggplants. Uh, gorgonzola, isn't it? Oh, okay, you're right, right. Okay, Good gorgonzola job. cheese sauce there that they've been resting in. Oh, this could be a, a flavor that uh, you'd really want to... Look like they were pickled in sake. Yes. Yes. Right there. yes. <laughs> the ingredients in the challenger's bowl that you're discussing are, as you said, gorgonzola cheese fresh fresh cream, olive oil, and eggplant stewed in consomme. Man alive, what an incredible assortment of flavors in that thick sauce. I, I'd like to wolf one of those right now. No, I think I saw some frying eggs happening. Okay, uh -huh. that one cooking up uh, out of control, looks like. <laughs> How's he frying these? Well, he just dropped the egg from the shell, plopped right, it in. Right, just cracked it straight into the oil. Kerplunk into the oil? Yeah, yeah. kind of like making a poached egg, but in boiling water, yeah. Yeah, except with oil oh, this that's time. What Whoa, I meant. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> it's difficult, huh? Get the surface cooking. Haven't seen that before. I think it probably takes some skill to do this to get I the would, right shape. I would guess. Yeah, it's difficult. But, you know, he's had all these fried things today, hasn't he? I tell <laughs> you. Cholesterol quotient high Kuzan. and rising, yes. The Iron Chef is now adding white bait and pine nuts to the tea and rice dish that he's working on. All right, thanks, Ota. Looking good right there. Mm, and for Sakai, the appearance of this one, not what we normally associate with him. No, the way it's being finished up looks almost Korean in right. style. I agree. And with Iron Chef Michiba basically on the DL, it's been tough on Sakai and Iron Chef Chen like an ace starting pitcher going down. The pressure's been on the other pitchers to pick up the slack. <laughs> it's been tough, but they've answered the bell, and there Nagamatsu kneeling down, wiping off. The heat is on for both sides here in Kitchen Stadium, and it's getting even hotter. <laughs> True. Right. And some pasta there. Bringing it to boil. Yeah, spaghetti. He'll have spaghetti and a pasta substitute. Well, I personally prefer thin pasta. 
pasta, so I think it's a great choice. Okay, down to 10 minutes left in this one. Okay, yes. I asked Challenger Nagamatsu if he was doing okay on time. I thought perhaps he was used to a slower pace, but he said, hey, I used to work in Tokyo. Now go away. <laughs> Sense of humor <laughs> remaining intact, but uh, that is true. He serves just one party, one group of diners per day. They get his undivided attention, and now look at this one on the Iron Chef's side. Oh. It looks like a torn apart eggplant that's put back together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the brown sauce alongside the eggplant is balsamic vinegar and olive oil. All right, oh, okay. the combo of those two in the sauce by the Iron Chef French. So almost Italian in flavor. Right. Mm, yes. Not looking French at all. Just a combo of those two in the sauce by the Iron Chef French. So it's almost Italian in flavor. Uh huh. Mm, yes. Not French yeah. at all. All right, and that should go in the books. Done with one. The Iron Chef's. He's been working at a pretty good pace today, I'd say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look at this. Okay, now we're over on the Challenger side. That was his his pasta he boiled. The there. pasta substitute. Yeah, yeah, it was one he made quite that right? quite a while ago. Yeah. The egg pasta. Mm -hmm. Right. It looked like a crepe at, at first, and then yeah. he chopped them up. I didn't think he'd end up boiling this one, but he has. Croissant. Yes. The chefs up in the Royal Box are all impressed with the Challenger's egg pasta, saying he sure has originality, probably because he's out in the woods where he has to make pasta from scratch. We're not pressured to be creative in Tokyo. Now, I'm not sure, but I think that's a compliment. All right. <laughs> well, take it as a compliment. All those fellows up there are excellent chefs in their own right. No doubt that Nagamatsu's creativity has made an impression on them. Maybe there's even a hint of envy that mm. perhaps they wouldn't mind themselves if they were uh, oh, some type of... Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. wow. It's got the, the sauce involved. Boiled mm -hmm. crepe pasta now being mixed with the sauce in this effort. Mm. Drawing interest from the Italian chefs upstairs, and how about the sauce, Doc? Can you make out any of the elements? There seems to be an awfully large amount of cheese in there. Okay. Yeah, it looks like is it. It looks like, like it. Is it Parmesan? Perhaps? Okay. Or it's a grated cheese All of right, some sort. A dash anyway. of salt there, and now back with Sakai, and the deep fried eggs are coming this way. Look at ah, that. Ah, uh, just like a little lid on top. There's your lid <laughs> okay. right there. Yeah, all right. Okay, now this is the one with the sea urchin. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, yep. okay right, right, Deep right. fried egg, topping it off. Cuisine. Yes. The Iron Chef was mumbling to himself a moment ago, saying the ice cream may not be finished in time, but if it isn't, it isn't. All right, mm. having a little trouble over there. Oh, mm. that's too bad. Sakai's ice cream with vodka may not make it. Oh, no. Come on, Sakai-san. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to try and get that ice cream in if they can. And now Nagamatsu adding olive oil to this one here, I believe. Mm-hmm. And I think this is the one he was doing in Constantine, okay, right? Okay, with pieces of French bread. So a soup here. Yes, soup, okay, yes. and lid on, and away she goes. Boy, it is really down-home style cooking, isn't it? Just the way you'd like it for a sit-down family meal at the dinner table. Soup done on that side, and now the spaghetti coming off and directly into the frying pan to be finished here. Ooh, yum. Now that looks so good. <laughs> Finishing treatment. Another offering from Nagamatsu. Al dente, you guess? I imagine, yes. Okay, wasn't on that long, so probably a bit hard on the inside. Mm-hmm. Eggplant and tomato sauce. Uh, it's just a classic dish, isn't it? Yes. More home-style cooking and mm, smelling good over here, too. Right. And you know, the eggplant dish is very popular in the uh, Sicilian area. Oh, really? yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. three minutes left. It's crunch time for Nagamatsu. Yeah, it's a basic classic from that part of the world. great to see. Yes. Mm. Challenger Nagamatsu seems to be happy with how his sorbet turned out. I caught him smiling and pumping his fist in the air to the chefs in the royal box. All right. <laughs> Getting their support and working hard coming down the stretch. Okay, but on the other side, what happened to uh, Sakai's ice cream. No I'm word yet. Is this it? Huh? Uh, no, no, what's this? Oh, okay. Well, I hope this isn't ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No way, no way, no way. Uh, this is definitely an appetizer. All right, and uh, eggplants are in this one, I believe, perhaps mm -hmm. in the sauce, topping it. Right, yeah, Would that yeah. possibly be the case here? Uh, Boy, well, where are we? What, what's our clock saying well, we're getting, now? We're getting close to done. Sakai scurrying to the rear. We got about a buck twenty left on the clock. So just a little over a minute, yeah? Yeah, coming okay. down to the end of this one is now they get the ice cream pulled oh, out of there. Okay, so the ice cream is done. Eggplant ice Ice cream looks like they've made it just in time. Okay. Uh, but, uh, Not a lot of volume, is there? A bit soft, no? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. All right, a minute to go. Final 60 seconds. Okay, I see. They're taking the ice cream and laying it on. It's the finish for this one. Oh, I see. oh that makes sense. Okay, kind of like so, a mousse it yes, is. Yes. All right, and in the last minute here, the challenger getting his basil sorbet into the small bowls. Actually, a basil eggplant sorbet, and up close on that one. His will strictly be a dessert while the Iron Chef's having ice cream, which will go as a component for one of his dishes. And what a workout this young man's gotten today, coming down out of the mountains of Nara to pit his natural, no-frill style of Italian cooking against the artistic French cooking of Iron Chef Sakai. Ten seconds left. A wonderful array of French and Italian dishes revolving around eggplant await the panel of tasters. The final seconds tick down, and that's it! The cooking's done. The eggplant battle is over! 
So, how do you feel after that hour? Um, before I started cooking, I told myself I have five guests at my place today. Uh huh. I just tried to pull off work that I normally do in my kitchen. Oh. That was my only goal. I see. And I wasn't nervous at all. Oh. I think I was able to be myself. All right. Do you think you beat the Iron Chef? I'm not interested in that. No? Win, lose, I don't care. Okay. How'd your dishes turn out? Um, eggplant is very easy to handle. So, uh -huh. you know, well, I'd say I can give myself 96 points. Um, maybe. 96? Mm. Including the ice cream? Ice cream? Yeah. Oh, it didn't harden up quite well. <laughs> so I shifted gears on that. Oh, okay. At the end. A new direction. Yes, but I don't call that a failure. Oh? Well, it would have been nice if it did harden up, uh -huh. but I guess I should have worked on it earlier. Mm. So I use it as a, as a mousse. Oh! Challenger Nagamatsu is offering six dishes. First, a marvelous starter, egg pasta made from thin crepe skins that he got right after a botched attempt. The appetizer harmonizes the aroma of eggplant and the flavor of eggs with ricotta cheese. Second, eggplant with gorgonzola dressing. Eschewing a knife, the hand-torn pieces of eggplant were boiled, then chilled before being finished in a gorgonzola cheese dressing. Third is bread and eggplant soup. The challenger offers up a typical Italian homemade soup, plain yet profound. The tasters should find its down-to-earth flavor most pleasing. Eggplant Spaghetti. Nagamatsu chose not to do anything to remove the bitterness from the eggplant before incorporating it in the tomato sauce, which results in the sauce having a wild touch. Fifth, stewed summer vegetables, a dish he'd normally make by leaving it out overnight. Still, the flavors of the zucchini and yellow bell pepper have penetrated well enough into the pieces of the eggplant. Last, eggplant and basil sorbet, a delightful finish. The basil dominates color-wise, but plays second fiddle flavor-wise to the lemon, with the eggplant adding texture. Iron Chef Sakai is offering five dishes. First, fried eggplant with scallops. The eggplants were peeled while still hot after cooking and are served with scallops. The balsamic vinegar and olive oil dressing is a superb match with the softened eggplant. Second, eggplant, bell pepper, and pork a hybrid offering with elements of Japanese and French cuisine. The texture of long onions and the flavor of the sesame seed oil and vinegar sauce suggest new ways of enjoying eggplant. Rice in Japanese tea, eggplant flavor. A chilled rice soup is what Sakai offers here, designed to give the tasters a break before moving on. The bitterness of roasted Japanese tea and the sweetness of eggplant blend nicely. Fourth is stuffed eggplant. This one is packaged a bit on the sweet and sour side by the use of blue cheese and truffles, which also help boost the profile of the eggplant in this one. Last is eggplant mousse, vodka flavor. Another sophisticated offering, the roughly chopped tomatoes and zucchini add a refreshing touch, while the sweetness of sesame seeds draws out the aroma of eggplant. Nestled deep in the mountains of Nara, one can find an oasis of quality Italian fare. This refugee from Tokyo farms, fishes, and hunts for the ingredients he uses to serve one party at a time. Today's challenger, Shinichi Nagamatsu. He's been enticed back to the big city for a kitchen stadium duel with Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient, a purple vegetable associated with the Nara era, in season as well, eggplant. Challenger Nagamatsu in perpetual motion whips up a set of six dishes. Iron Chef Sakai, all over the culinary map, finishes with a set of five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the eggplant battle are novelist Tamio Kageyama, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Nagamatsu. Mm, eggplant is certainly the center of this dish. Thank you. Uh, the pleasant presence of the eggplant blends very well with the egg and fills my mouth with flavor. There is a nice, firm texture to this, and I thought, wow, this is profound. <laughs> There's a Chinese noodle called Yi Fu Men using eggs yes, and flour. Yes. This is an Italian version of that. It's well done, but I had to look for the eggplant. Where's the eggplant? <laughs> what there is of it, you cooked it to a nice texture. A good balance of flavors mm, overall. 
And now Nagamatsu serving the bread and eggplant soup. You can get hooked on this soup, I think. I might even charter a helicopter to go to your place for this soup. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. It doesn't look special, but you wouldn't mind having it every day. Just like miso soup to us Japanese. This is something in that line. I'd like to have it again tomorrow, actually. It's good, very good. Thank you very much. Mama spaghetti. Mama putting together whatever ingredients on hand. A gentle homemade feel to this pasta. We don't particularly recognize eggplants as sweet, but in this dish, the tomatoes are saying eggplants are indeed sweet. Caponata? Yes, oh. caponata. Oh. A vegetable stew. Very nice. This eggplant is alive. <laughs> yes, it's very vivid, very good. The eggplant, indeed, has absorbed all the flavors of the vegetables in this dish. The eggplant's really the winner in this one. Thank you very much. This menu is not at all easy to put together. I have to ask you to keep that in mind. Oh, I feel the seeds of the eggplant. I like this. Good? <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. You know, how do you say, it's, um, it's like it's... Frozen eggplant? No, well, it is. It is frozen eggplant, I guess. But when I put it into my mouth, the eggplant immediately started to mount. I don't really know how to describe this, but... Uh, <laughs> you are so bold. Yeah? It's like someone opened my mouth and stuck a fistful of herbs in it. <laughs> and now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. Mm. This is refreshing and very good. Eggplant is a star in this dish. Well, the eggplant is in the center and scallops, or it could have been prawns or even raw ham, after all. Um, this is a dish to enjoy eggplant. Mm. The matching between sesame seeds and eggplant is so great. The sesame seed sauce is very good. Sesame seeds and miso. The pork, eggplant, and sesame seeds yes. go together perfectly. All right, here it comes, the much-anticipated rice in Japanese tea. Mm, this one... Well, this is another profound dish. I'm not... Sure about the anchovy in this. Uh, the Japanese tea has a strong savory aroma. So when yes. you add the anchovies to it, it's a bit of a mismatch. Tasting tea with salt in it? <laughs> I, I do feel that way. Sea urchin and eggs make a good match. The soft yolk is like a sauce with sea urchin underneath and below it the eggplant. A taste of luxury. By using the eggplant as a bowl, you've created a great vessel to enjoy the lobster and sea urchin. Tasting them together is so luxurious. And not just because of the luxuriousness and richness of the lobster and the urchin, it's because of the multitude of layers and flavors you have put into this dish. I'm very impressed with what you've done here. I have vegetables underneath. This is good. Mm, the sweetness of the eggplant is condensed in this. Um, the impact of the vodka is nicely softened in the dessert. Eggplant battle, we'll find out which man can cap it off with a win. しかしその言葉は
通用するのかどうかそれでは発表します Today, a chef coming down from the sacred mountains of Nara, where he leads the life he believes in, cooking in harmony with nature. Challenger Nagamatsu, his cooking philosophy is a winner. How about the taste of today's dishes? Iron Chef Sakai, again tested on high. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tetsujin Sakai Hiroki! It's the Iron Chef Sakai coming through and capturing the eggplant battle. What a showing today, though, by Nagamatsu, making this one a very competitive affair and also showing the deep devotion he has to his cooking philosophy, his craft. But in the end, capping this one off with the victory, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai.